Okay, we're gonna talk about hierarchy of O2 delivery. This is one of my favorite cheat sheets, and it's one of the ones that helped me most as I was beginning on the nursing floor. We do go into much more detail with this inside the NRSNG Academy, but this cheat sheet is gonna help you greatly. So let's simplify oxygen delivery devices. The first one we all know is nasal cannula. And nasal cannula fits inside the patient's nose, just kind of right inside their nostrils, uh, to deliver a little extra FiO2 or percent of inspired oxygen. Like for patients who are having some chest pain or having a little bit of difficulty feeling like they can breathe. A simple face mask, okay, are great for patients needing a little bit of extra FiO2 but tend to breathe through their mouth. So maybe they're, they're congested or maybe they're just a mouth breather, we can kind of give that to them. Non-rebreathers, on the other hand, are a little bit more complex uh, face masks. Uh, that have a one-way valve that prevents rebreathing room air, thus delivering a very high amount of FiO2 in emergencies or for patients in respiratory distress. Venturi masks are perfect for COPD patients because they deliver a very specific set amount of FiO2 or percent of oxygen. The respiratory dive drive for a COPD patient is hypoxemia versus you and I, which is uh, hypercapnia. So if we give them too much O2, they're gonna stop breathing. They're gonna have no physiological drive to breathe. Now, trach masks are gonna fit, let's say a patient has a tracheostomy, a trach mask is gonna fit right over that. Uh, and it's gonna deliver humidified O2 to keep the, the, the trachea uh, humidified. T pieces are used for patients who have passed a series of weaning trials and are almost ready to come off the ventilator. Now, CPAP and BiPAP, Give the patient positive airway pressure. CPAP, and it's gonna be this really tight, snug mask that goes right over their nose and their mouth. The C in that, the C in CPAP stands for continuous, meaning the patient gets the same amount of pressure on inspiration and expiration. Sleep apnea patients use these at night. Now, BI, the BI and BiPAP means there are two levels of pressure. Patients with CHF exacerbations benefit from positive pressure via BiPAP. SIMV, or stands for Synchronized Intermittent Mandatory Ventilation. And we use this to start ventilator weaning in our patients. When a patient's on a ventilator, they're gonna have a tube all the way down their throat that comes right about here to the carina where there's the, the bifurcation of the right and left lung or where they branch off to each other. We have a tube that sits right there. So we bypass every other way and kind of get it right into their lungs. Now, in the SIMV patient, the patient gets a preset tidal volume or amount being pushed in on vent-initiated breaths, but they their own tidal volume on breaths that they initiate. Finally, assist control is kind of maximum ventilator support, or they call this AC, where the patient gets a preset tidal volume on vent and patient-initiated breaths. We see this used on newly intubated patients or post-code patients, for example.